every year, every month, every chance you got, you've got to improve. If I was an investor in that, $4.8 million would not be worth over nine figures. So much knowledge is out there if you seek it. They're giving you the game. All right, so Ben Shapiro is, is in this clip talking about how he started the Daily Wire, which is a media company. So let's take a look at this clip and how he raised money for his company. We need $1 million. And if you give us $1 million, we will generate you a money machine that lasts for all of time. I take out a napkin and a pen. And I say, here is our business plan. Dollar sign, arrow, Facebook, arrow, website, arrow back to dollar sign. This is our business plan. They fired Jeremy the next day. We have two choices at this point. Choice number one is we mortgage our houses and just do the idea ourselves. And this was in retrospect, what we, we probably should have done. Yeah. At the time we find a family office and we pitch this family office on exactly this plan. And this guy at the end of the table turns to me and says, we get a lot of pitches on media companies just like this one. What makes you think you're so special? And I was like, I'm better at this than anyone on the planet. Everyone who's pitched you is worse at this than I am. And for a second, there was like dead silence in the room. And then everybody started laughing and they put the money into the company. And the initial amount of money they put into the company was $4.8 million. We did $200 million in revenue last year. What so, do you think that original investment is worth today? Well into the nine figures. Unbelievable. He basically flipped 4.8 million. So if I was an investor in that, $4.8 million would not be worth over nine figures, $100 million plus. So what's your, what's your takeaways from just hearing Ben Shapiro? Ben Shapiro is probably one of the greatest debaters in the marketplace today. Extremely intelligent guy. He's Jewish. Um, a lot of people don't know what he said, a family office. A family office, for those of you who don't know, a family office, let's say your last name. Let's say you're the Rockefellers. Let's say you're the, the Kennedys. Let's say you're the Bushes. Instead of going to an investment manager at Charles Schwab or Merrill Lynch, yeah. you hire a certified financial planner. You hire a certified public accountant. You hire an attorney. And all they do is just manage your family's money. <laughs> That's balling. So they don't have a job in any other financial institution. That institution is your family. Your family bank, your family last name. They're managing your wow. investments. They're managing your, your real estate portfolio. They're managing your brand. They're managing your speaking engagement. That's the family. So in other words, instead of pitching an, uh, a typical traditional investor, he pitched a rich family. That's what, that's what a family office yeah. is. I mean, well, w one of the first things that I saw with this guy is he knows his, he knows his stuff. He knows mm -hmm. his craft. So before you, you if you're any, anyone- Are you familiar with his work? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he knows, yeah. he knows what he's doing. I've yeah. been following this guy for a couple of years now. Yeah. So if you're planning, pulling a stunt like this and go along the lines of trying to build a company or a media company or, or whatever the case may be, and you're looking for investors, you need to know what you're doing. You need to know your craft. You need to be able to be in the right headspace so that way you know what your next two, three, four, five moves are. And also, uh, it's the, things, the, the thing about social media is there's constant different tr there's trends. There's trends, there's trends, there's trends. So one of the biggest things for any social media person or anyone trying to create something that people will uh, latch onto and continue this journey with them is being able to consistently having to recreate their, uh, uh, their brand, having to recreate themselves, having to recreate the way they approach, the way they speak, the way they do media. Because again, bro, whatever was relevant maybe about four or five months ago is definitely not relevant anymore. The way you do social media, the way you do podcasts, the way you do audiobooks, whatever it may be, any topics that are being spoken about right now a year ago weren't, weren't known and whatever was known back then, now it's just another thing faded in space. Yeah. Now, on the flip side, some of you guys say, well, it must be nice. It could be him, though. At least he had a family office. He knew that he could pitch. Yeah. Guys, less than 500 bucks, I created an $83 million company. You don't need a million bucks. You don't need 4.8 million bucks. You need 500 bucks. You need 250 bucks. You need 100 bucks. You need to be in a position where you say, no matter what, I'm going to take this budget. I'm going to make it work. I got to find something to sell. Obviously, what is he selling? He's selling his brand. Mm -hmm. He's selling his ability to debate, his, his view on, on, on conservative values and principles as a media uh, host. And, and obviously, what does he do too as well? He's recruiting other hosts. You know, Daily Wire, you know, you, you got your, your, your Candace Owens over there. You got some of the biggest conservative influencers there at the Daily Wire providing their own shows and content. And he's obviously created a media company. I've been doing $200 million in revenue last year. So whether you're raising a million dollars for your media company or you got 500 bucks just like I was, how much money did it take for you to start your business? Not much, honestly. How much was a, a, a certified a trainer certification? Oh, that was ten years ago, man. I, I, I got every year I, I get one one new new uh, license or certification. It's maybe around two three hundred dollars every year. Okay, so two three hundred bucks a year. It's right. How much? Uh, how much did it cost to start your uh, corporation, your LLC or S? With, with dues, fees, and everything, which probably around six hundred bucks. Six hundred bucks, guys. You don't need a million bucks, and then you sell what you got. Yeah. So I sold what I had, which was understanding life insurance, retirement planning understanding entrepreneurship and coaching that's what i sold and so 
number one, you got to be confident in what you're selling, though. And once you're confident in what you're selling, the second thing is you got to know also how to make money. So if somebody's going to invest in you, you got to figure out, hey, this is how we're going to make money. Like what he put there. Napkin. Obviously, he drew to Facebook. So what do you think he's doing to Facebook? Ads, right? Doing ads. ads yeah. That, those ads will lead to Website, a lead page. Lead so he's getting the eyeballs into, from Facebook into, onto, a into a funnel. Yeah, yeah. Into a funnel they can market to. So therefore, going to show their content so people can watch. They can watch the YouTube videos. They can watch the content. They can be a, subscribed to their, their media company for special content. So he knew how to make money, and he knew how to go out there and prove it. Yeah. And I think that's why they increased it from a million dollars to four point eight million dollars because he continued on with metrics. Obviously, that's a clip. Mm. And the third thing is, like what you just mentioned earlier, every year, every month, every chance you got, you've got to improve. Mm. The biggest question I ask for a lot of people today: if you want to improve, my biggest question I ask them was, what "Was the last book you read?" What book are you currently reading? What was your biggest takeaway from the book that you read or are currently reading? A lot of people today don't read. So much knowledge out there, both on book format, published written format, or here on social media, or even on YouTube, on, uh, on, on articles and white papers. So much knowledge is out there if you seek it. They're giving you the game. So you don't have to worry about nobody's not teaching. No, you're not teaching yourself. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.